And the winner is... Ladies and gentlemen, viewers around the world, straight out of Narawahia, Vatita Hive, here's Mario. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, 3.5. How's your day been? My day's been busy, a little bit frustrating, and long. So let's start at the beginning. This um, sign behind me has been at WinTech, well, ever since, ever since they built the car park. Which they didn't, actually, they didn't build the car park till after a, a couple of years. But anyway, there's always been some questions about it. But walking in today, I looked at it and I, oh, it looks like a scoreboard. You know, visitors, this and uh, Wintech, such and such. And so I thought, it looks like a scoreboard. The winner is Car Park 1. But I've been thinking about this and I posted that as my Instagram photo today. And one of the students wondered or pondered what it was. And I think it begs further investigation. So I'm going to look at it. I don't even know whether it actually changes. Is it just the number? I suspected earlier on that it sort of counts the number of cars that goes in and out of the car park. Because there's no little, as far as I can see, there's nothing to s at each car park itself like down at the base they've got a little disc thing and i guess when you park over that that tells it that there's um a sort of a car there so i don't quite know how it works so i think some investigation is needed and uh, so I'm, I'm going to put that on my list of things along with my q a my um merch that I've got planned <laughs> and all sorts of other little things. Anyway, in the meantime, let's just go and have a look at the snippets and then we'll see where we go from here. Cue the snippets. It's two in the morning and I'm heading off to bed. I've got all everything prepped for tomorrow, which suits me. Um, I'd rather do that than try and rush it in the morning. Oh, I do, reminds me, I do have some stuff to print off for tomorrow's classes. So I'll be able to get that done in the morning. That's good. So up at six and we'll get in. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better now. I think the effects of all the shit have worn off. And uh, yeah, four hours sleep probably will give a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of help. I haven't sorted out my pills, that's a bit of a worry. But uh, yes, we'll, we'll get that all done and uh, head on in. So, uh, I come into my own at about one o'clock in the morning and uh, really get a roll on. So uh, yeah, it's been good. So, happy, happy, happy. Back to, um, <clears throat> there are still a, bit, a few muscular problems, but ah, uh, that'll, that'll. We're off, I'm sure. So, off to bed. See you, see you later. Yeah, it's just gone seven and I've got a free park at Wintech, which is good. Um, it's a interesting day. I'll flick around the horizon in a minute and uh, just uh, have a look at the day. But uh, got here, I've pulled up pretty good. Um, yeah, feeling, feeling great, not, um, Got rid of all the uh, lousiness and things, and a nice brisk walk into work should uh, should sort it out. And um, into it for week two, semester two. All good. See you, see you later. Yeah, pretty reasonable sort of morning, but a cloud cover. I don't know what it's going to become, but I think it might be going to become a pretty good sort of day. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, so here we are, just walking into Wintech. 
Uh, as I say, not a bad sort of day. Um, it's light. It's just gone seven, maybe quarter past seven. Plenty of free parking up close. I could have got a bit closer actually. And uh, yeah, there's a cloud around. I think it might be all right. We'll see what happens later in the day. Just a light dew on the grass. Nothing too. Thing starting to get busy over there, close up into the Wintec building as we wander in. Plenty of room in the paid parking. Well, it's five o'clock and I'm on my way home. What a day I've had! I got into work uh, relatively early um, this morning and uh, got all prepped and ready for my class. Class went reasonably well um, in, uh, civil engineering civil and structural drawing went reasonably well I felt uh, I think we've got the point across about the CAD there and my uh, burn down chart well I, I did a new burn down chart that went well could have been better but um, yeah so uh, that was alright then the rest of my day um, I had, I met with some um, teachers from, uh, in China, who are studying here, uh, delivering an engineering course, so I spent some time with them uh, going through our survey program, and uh, well, that's when my diet fell apart, because um, they were very concerned that I had not eaten and that I would taught for three hours solid so they insisted on buying me a sandwich and a cup of tea for my lunch and uh, well diet went all downhill from there so I ate that all right which was good and then went in to catch up with my colleagues and it was around about Smoko and then there's been another induction so there was some free pizza on offer and uh, of course I would have been rude not to uh, indulge in that so mm, I was 80.7 this morning so <coughs> very concerning so I'm going hard out into the rice diet tonight <coughs> definitely and uh, nothing else well, that's what I'm telling myself at this point um, doesn't look like I'm going to get any yard work done it's five o'clock and um, I'm well behind with preparation for tomorrow. Two classes for prep tomorrow and uh, quite a bit to do for each of them. So thinking I may go home and um, I may go home and get stuck into where, what, who at the vlog and get those done early so that I can have a good lash at these uh, prepping for these classes that I need for tomorrow. With luck, I might uh, might get into uh, get into bed around two o'clock. So um, yep, let's uh, let's uh, see what happens. Yes, and uh, well, I'm very much behind schedule. It's now. I think I'll finish the vlog around eleven thirty. And then I can start prepping for two classes, which I think are going to take a wee, a wee bit of work. So, yes, uh, I don't think we'll be going to bed early tonight. But, hey, that's, uh, that's how it rolls. That's how it rolls. And uh, regarding the rice, yes, I've been hard out in the rice so hard. I've eaten um, quite a lot of rice tonight, uh, more than I would normally. So, um, yes, I'm not, uh, we'll see how the scales go in the morning, but perhaps we need more of a sustained um, rice uh, regime going forward. All right, uh, yes, hopefully we'll get time for that soon. And, well, we, uh, yes, haven't got the diary up there at all, but here it is. And uh, yes, 5156 steps, because we went out and uh, did a little bit of recce around the survey 
area there so that's good uh, 831 uh, scoreboard yep where what who is a who apparently Moz knows the answer so it's a pretty simple one three hours of teaching uh, prep to come and 80.7 pretty much the story of the day today's challenge um, well coming up uh, here and uh, what does the Latin bona fide mean bona fide what does that mean one of these four here let's uh, see if you can get the answer in the comments below the video yesterday's uh, question thunder only happens when it's raining is a line from which Fleetwood Mac song and well tartan snowflake was the one that came up with the answer dreams well done uh, both tartan and moz uh, wove it into uh, an answer and there was a bit of uh, to and fro there between the two of them i have to say that both of them seem to have more musical type uh, knowledge than i so um Yes, I'm just an interested spectator that uh, puts the odd question out there. But uh, yeah, it's good fun. All good. So uh, that brings us to the end of today's vlog. Uh, thanks everybody for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. Look forward to seeing you again sometime in the future. Hopefully tomorrow. But if not tomorrow, some other day. No sweat. We'll see you when we see you. All good. Cheers. Cue the outro. That's all, folks. This has been a Mario presentation. Recorded live in our studio at Narawahia, capital of the Waikato district. A district towards the top of the North Island of Aotearoa, New Zealand the land of the long white cloud. We're a little country right at the bottom of the globe, a place where Kiwis live in a paradise we like to call God's own country. <laughs>